Kazakhstan has invited Azerbaijani investors to join the platform of the Astana International Financial Center. AIFC experts presented the center's capacity to foreign entrepreneurs and financial institutions. In five months of its operation, the center attracted 88 companies from various countries. The interest is high due to a wide range of services and privileges for businessmen, such as exemption from taxes, free offices, as well as five-year visa-free travels for the AIFC staff and their family members. We pursue one goal of helping the Azerbaijani businesses to turn towards Kazakhstan and our platform to see the benefits. Every business chooses the platform, whether it is the European or Asia markets. However, there is Kazakhstan market, which is very close. We are always ready to offer favorable conditions for Azerbaijani companies in the Astana International Financial Center. According to specialists, the AIFC will give Azerbaijani companies the opportunity to expand their potential and invest in Eurasia. The center in Astana also provides access to the Shanghai Stock Exchange and Nasdaq. At the presentation, businessmen learned about the Islamic finance tools at the AIFC. <laughs> This platform is used to present the Astana International Financial Centers services to the Azerbaijani companies. We want to inform businessmen about the centers' capacities and the ways of attracting alternative sources of income, which will be cheaper and more affordable. With the help of the proposed tools, businessmen will be able to attract funding sources to finance their projects. The AIC is also ready to assist Azerbaijani businesses in training specialists for the financial and stock markets. In addition, the center's management plans to launch its financial application. At the center, foreign developers can implement their setups on favorable terms. Investments are the most important factor in the growth of the state economy. Foreign companies' interest and volumes of funds into Kazakhstan is constantly growing. For example, work on capital inflows in the Kostanai region is being conducted effectively. 13 projects worth 1.4 trillion tinge funded by foreign investments are being implemented in the region. Experts say that in the near future, the industrial zone will turn into a large production site. Next year, construction of a plant for deep processing of grain will start. The total amount of investments is 111 billion tinge. We have developed the concept of the industrial zone. The Russian plant for tractors production is one of the first to show its interest to take part in projects implemented in the industrial zone. The capacity of the enterprise allows manufacturing up to 3,000 tractors per year. Local specialists will assemble the equipment. Locals will be recruited to work. This means a certain selection of specialists will be made. Then there will be training. Some of them have been trained directly with workers of the Minsk tractor plant. The milling complex is the only one in Central Asia. The complex was built at the expense of foreign investors. The export-oriented enterprise produces 700 tons of flour per day. A 40-year-old plant in Semei will undergo digital transformation of their production processes. As part of this project, the enterprise will purchase advanced equipment that will allow the plant to repair the latest equipment. According to experts at the moment, the share of locally manufactured armored vehicles is just 40 percent, and with digital transformation, its share will increase to 70 percent. <laughs> We are currently working on the investment project. Its cost is 2 billion tinge. Digital technologies will help reduce the downtime and will serve as a powerful impetus for the enterprise's further development. The plant is Central Asia's only enterprise that repairs armored vehicles. Over the years, the plant has repeatedly modernized and expanded its facilities. Currently, the enterprise specializes in all types of maintenance and improvement of military equipment. 
We perform all kinds of repair works. We also conduct tests, such as stationary tests and road tests, as well as test firing on proving grounds. This job is very interesting. The enterprise is expanding. According to experts, digital transformation will also increase the plant's export potential. The enterprise received requests from Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. Shingiz Atmatov is one of the most widely read authors of modern times, according to UNESCO. This year, the entire world celebrates his 90th anniversary. A lecture on the outstanding Central Asian writer and his contribution to Turkic literature was organized at the National Museum of Kazakhstan. Scientists say that philosophical and moral topics in Atmatov's books are relevant for people of different generations. The contents are invaluable material to educate young people. Atmatov's works have been translated into 176 languages languages and published in 128 countries with a circulation of over 100 million copies. His work was included in educational programs of schools and universities of many countries. In the works of Shingiz Aitmatov, most Kazakhs and Kyrgyz people are related. He wrote about Kazakh heroes and stories that occurred on the Kazakh land. Through this unification of two cultures, he introduced Central Asian literature to the whole world. The greatness of the writer is that in his works, he discussed urgent problems of mankind. <laughs> Eternal friends and strategic partners from time immemorial, two fraternal states, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, have deep historical roots, cultural heritage and strong neighborly relations. During the years of independence, the countries have managed not only to maintain close ties, but also to strengthen the partnership and bring it to a new level. Cooperation of the Central Asian countries covers many areas, including literature. For example, works of great Kazakh poet and philosopher Abai Kunanbaev are read in Uzbekistan. Recently, Uzbek filmmakers shot a documentary title The World About Abai. The film crew visited the hometown of the founder of Kazakh literature. Мы делаем эту картину только для того, чтобы наша молодежь особенно знали о том. We have created this film so our youth will be aware about the people who lived in the Central Asian land. We are all brothers and relatives, so we have nothing to divide. On the contrary, we need to unite and admire the ancestors that we've had. One of them is Abai, and we gladly filmed a movie about him. У нас были и один из них это Абай, конечно, и мы с удовольствием сделали о нем картину. Tashkent hosted a presentation of the documentary. The main goal of the film is to introduce the audience to the life and work of the poet, his childhood and environment, as well as present archival documents to spectators. The film made a strong impression on me. I expect that it will increase the level of friendship between our people. After watching the documentary, I discovered a new facet of poet Abai. This great man covered problems of people in detail and offered concrete ideas for their solution. The film was shot as part of the decree of the President of Uzbekistan to promote creative heritage of great Kazakh poet and philosopher Abai Kunanbaev. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's book, The Era of Independence, was translated into German. The work on Kazakhstan's modern history was presented in the Humboldt University, one of Germany's top universities. The copies were presented to government officials, members of Bundestag, businessmen, diplomats, writers and journalists. Schwierig gestartet nach 1990, der Fall der Sowjetunion, große Probleme. There were difficulties after the 90s. However, Kazakhstan achieved great success due to the well-designed policy. Your country has become a reliable partner for both Europe and Asia. The book describes the nearly 30-year history of Kazakhstan as well as the country's plans for the next 50 years. Auch die nächsten Jahre bis 2050, die, uh, die die Entwicklung von Kasachstan war großartig. Das liegt daran. I haven't read the book yet, but knowing Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, I'm sure that the book is interesting. Kazakhstan is respected all over the world because the country's leader is a great politician. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev worked hard for Kazakhstan's development and prosperity.
The book describes Kazakhstan's path since independence and up until the modern days, when the republic became the center of security and peace, an authoritative participant in the world processes and the most developed country in Central Asia. Experts say that the book is an encyclopedia of Kazakhstan's independence. President Nazarbayev's role is significant and valuable. The book contains historical information that the German public should know. The 27-year-old history of Kazakhstan's independence is described in the chapters. The era of independence was presented in Moscow and St. Petersburg. The president's work was also introduced in London in English. Next year, the book will be published in Brazil in Portuguese. Now 24-7 reading rooms opened in the library of Nazarbayev University. All conveniences are provided in the vast space of the reading room, with a total area of over 10,000 square meters for those who want to study the treasures of the world science and literature. There are also new computer and multimedia rooms, rooms for group and individual classes, as well as equipment for inclusive education and a conference room. There is also an audiovisual studio, a nursery and a relaxation room. The practice of round-the-clock access to the library collection will be applied in Kazakhstan for the first time. The organizers hope to set a good precedent in the library field and reveal concrete results in the near future. There are about 200,000 print copies in our library's collection. In addition, we have a very extensive collection of electronic subscriptions, as well as a database and electronic books. We also have a repository, which we created in the library, based on the library's web portal to upload the university works, such as thesis works and university articles. I think that our electronic library is as good as many of the largest universities. The sixth photo exposition titled Attractive Xinjiang from the Magnificent China Exhibition Series has been opened in Astana. The unique opening day is represented by works of famous Chinese photographers who showcases natural attractions, culture, folk traditions and history of the province over the past decades. We, uh, we selected very carefully 108 paintings that reflect achievements made in recent years by the Zuar and beautiful landscapes, natural species, as well as the life of ordinary Xinjiang people. A chronicle reflecting the current life of the inhabitants of this district is vividly conveyed on each canvas. Visitors can view the most modern production and places of antiquity of the Great Silk Road. The artist's idea is to show a particle of history and modernity of the amazing country. Imprinted moments give a fresh look at China and at changes taking place there. Наши посетители благодаря этому проекту ознакомились с историей, с культурой, социальными и экономическими достижениями провинции Китая. Thanks to this project, our visitors are acquainted with history, culture, social and economic achievements of Chinese provinces. We have very closely developed museum cooperation between our countries. This year, we opened an exhibition of the Golden Man in the Historical Museum of Shanxi Province in the city of Xi'an. Approximately 200,000 people visited the exhibition. The event increased great interest among the Chinese public. Next year, we are planning to organize an exhibition of the Golden Man in the National Museum of China. We have agreed on the dates of this exhibition in April. A series of photo exhibitions titled Magnificent China presented over the past six months included six expositions. Works of Chinese photographers are devoted to various regions and provinces of China. Residents and visitors of the capital can visit the photo exhibition until the end of this year. A large-scale exhibition of Kazakh contemporary art titled Eurasian Utopia Postscriptum is being held in South Korea. More than 100 works by 57 Kazakh artists were presented at the exhibition. The exposition is the fourth and final series of foreign events held under the Focus Kazakhstan International Project as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program. We 
выставка – это диалог между старшим поколением, средним и молодым. The exhibition is a dialogue between the older, middle and young generations that explores the continuity of artistic and cultural traditions as well as artistic transformation at the time of global historical changes that occurred in our country. Kazakh artist Bakhit Bubikanova explained to the exhibition visitors the meaning behind her works. For example, a diamond-shaped piece cut out of a carpet is the key to secrets. My installation is a diamond-shaped piece of carpet. I believe that this piece of carpet reflects the history, location, authenticity, as well as animals, plants and people who lived in that area and owned the carpet. All these ideas are presented in the diamond-shaped symbol, which indicates a portal or a key to enter this carpet to have a clearer idea of what is depicted there. Said Atabekov's Step Wolves is another installation that symbolizes the Kazakh people's energy and struggle for survival. Another work is Lenin Peak by Yerbosin Meldebekov, work by ethnic Koreans of Kazakhstan such as Mikhail Kim, Boris Park, Alexander Ugai, Natalia Du and Leonid Khan spark the visitors' interest. Kazakhstan has long been a cultural bridge connecting East and West, which experienced profound historical, political and social changes. I would like to mention that Kazakh art, just like its long history, cannot be measured by one frame and incorporates various styles and is demonstrated in various forms. The exhibition in South Korea will be opened until March next year. Kazakh TV's program has become the first among the best project in tourism and finalists of the National Award based on voting. Winners of the National Tourism Awards will be announced on December 8. Outdoor Kazakh is a project about landscapes, beautiful regions, natural beauties and adventures. A five-man team have made the project for people who like tourism and having rest in nature. Each TV program involves scientists, nature conservationists as well as local and international experts. The 30-minute program can be watched on Kazakh. TV. The ancient type of hunting with birds of prey is being revived in Kazakhstan. The Saka and Hans, Turks and people of Central Asia went hunting with birds of prey. Now hunting with birds and dogs has become a true art. Even international sports competitions are organized. The most skilled Kus Bege or hunter took part in the second Asian Open Championship on hunting with birds of prey. 70 best domestic and 20 foreign eagle hunters gathered on slopes of the Ile Alatau. Contestants demonstrated hunting skills and came with falcon or hawk. The competition with the golden eagle has become the most vivid and memorable. It is science and patience to teach a bird of prey, so a hunter and the bird work harmoniously, says Sai Lao Khan. Zakari Yauli, an eager hunter from Mongolia. First, it is necessary to teach a bird to make it sit on your hand, which might take weeks. Then, having tied a rabbit with a rope, you need to drag it on the ground so that the bird can grab the prey in motion. Then we teach it to hunt a hare or a fox. It takes a lot of time. The main thing is that the bird should understand you. It has to love you as well as accept you as a friend and like-minded person. <laughs> Hunting with hawks, golden eagles and falcons can be considered an integral attribute of Kazakh culture. In Kazakhstan, the ancient tradition has been preserved to this day.